Welcome to Warford Orthodontics. By watching this video, you'll be learning what to expect as you get started with your Invisalign treatment. We're excited to have you. So I'm just gonna show you a few things for what will be going on with your initial appointment here in our office. One of the first things you'll get to see is your ClinCheck. This is something specifically made for you and your treatment with Dr. John and the Invisalign lab. So we will be able to show you ahead of time how your teeth are gonna be moving to encourage you to wear your aligners so that teeth move the way that they're supposed to. The main thing that we do at your initial appointment is get your attachments added. We'll also show you how to take your aligners in and out and get you comfortable with the whole process of how to take care of everything at home. So different things that we can show you on your ClinCheck is exactly how your teeth are going to be moving. The attachments that we call them are these little pink dots that you may see on your ClinCheck. Everybody has different size and shape attachments and they're on there for different purposes. Depending on how your teeth need to move, they work as pressure points or as little anchors to help keep your aligners in when you're wearing them. Part of your appointment to expect when you come in to see us to get things started is getting those attachments on. In order for Dr. John and his team to do that, we use a retractor to hold your lips and cheeks out of the way. Some say it's a little bit of a stretch, but it's not too uncomfortable and the process is actually quite quick. For your aligners themselves, there will be a little bubble on the aligner wherever there is a matching attachment on your tooth. Those match up to help keep the aligners in. Some people will have an attachment fall off throughout treatment. This is not considered an orthodontic emergency. The attachments are on there for a reason, but there's multiple attachments. So if one does come off, you can contact our office and we will instruct you as to whether you need an extra appointment or if it's something that can wait until your next regular visit. Invisalign sends a case with, it has some home care instructions included as well as a case. It has pictures of how to keep track of the aligners, also shows you how to take the aligners in and out, and has some common questions and answers that you may have asked that Invisalign can help talk you through as well. The Invisalign kit comes with a case. Both of your aligners will be able to fit into that case. We'll also give you extras whenever you need them because we require you to either have your aligners in your mouth or in the case at all times. That way you are less likely to lose them, break them, or throw them away. So always keep your aligners safe and in their case. In your Invisalign startup bag, you will also be sent home with all of the paperwork covering everything we had just discussed. It basically talks about how much you need to wear your aligners. It talks again about how to keep them clean, talks about storage, coming back for appointments, and how you need to keep extra aligners. So we'll go over that briefly with you as well. Along with sugar and acid being in different soft drinks, juices, Gatorades, energy drinks, things like that, we also want you to be aware of the sugary sweets. Things with lots of sugar and acid are hard on the teeth. Even though you're taking your aligners out for those things, we just want to ensure that you're keeping things clean, brushing or rinsing before you put your aligners back in after any of those products. Another thing to be aware of when you have your aligners out for eating and drinking is avoiding things that are crunchy or hard. Like I had mentioned before, you'll have attachments on your teeth. It's not nearly as strict a rules as with brackets and wires with traditional braces, but you still want to be aware of those attachments and try to avoid breaking those off when you're eating. Things like Jolly Ranchers, hard sticky things like Laffy Taffy, we like to say avoid those throughout treatment while you have attachments on your teeth. Invisalign sends all of your aligners in their own separate bag. Everything is labeled and numbered in order, so as long as you're able to count, it's as simple as wearing them in the order that they come in. There is a zipper at the top to ensure that it came directly from the Invisalign lab. You will open up the Ziploc baggie and find the set of your aligners on the inside. The aligners themselves all have a number stamped on the molar, so it keeps track of which one you're currently on. When you come in for an appointment, we're able to look at those. If you can't remember which aligner you're on, we're able to look at the aligner and it will tell us which one you're currently wearing. The bag also provides a spot for you to write notes. We recommend writing down the date that you started wearing that set of aligners. That way it's easier to keep track of. Every patient has a different treatment plan as to how many days we want you to stay in that specific aligner, so it just keeps things more simple 
knowing when to switch into the next set. When you do complete an aligner, we recommend that you put it back in the bag that it came in and keep one or two extra aligners as emergency backups. If you lose, break, throw away, or have damage to any of the aligners, you can contact our office. A majority of the time you'll be able to move into the next aligner and just keep on moving forward, but in a rare circumstance that that aligner is too tight and you cannot get that aligner all the way in, we will have you go into the previous aligner and hold into that until we can get you a replacement. Getting your aligners in and out is critical to avoid breaking attachments off unnecessarily. We like to say they go in from the front and you almost grip them against the teeth like putting a lid onto a Tupperware container. You always line up the midline and go along the edge of the teeth using pressure to gently glide the aligner into place. You'll almost feel it snap into place and grip onto those attachments. Every time you put it in, always use your fingers to insert the aligners and always go and put a decent amount of pressure along the biting surface to make sure that the aligner is fully inserted. It's normal for your aligners to not look or feel quite perfect at the beginning because they have work to do. So as you wear your aligners, your aligners will start to fit better, feel better, and that's how you know they're doing what they're supposed to. The more you wear them, the better they fit and the better they feel. When you're taking the aligners out, just make sure to not try to go from the front. We always say in from the front and out from the back. Your attachments are on the outside of the teeth, so we like to release the aligner from the inside. Go way in back along the molars and get along the edge of your aligner. When you feel that edge, you'll grip it down and you will push out towards the lip or cheek before you start to pull down. You just round around that corner releasing the aligner from one side to the other and you'll almost feel it snap off of the teeth rather than putting too much pressure or stretching the aligners by going on the edges in front. All right, you can pop those in, in from the front. Perfect, and then just massage it into place using your fingers or your thumbs. Awesome, how does that feel? Good. Let's see, beautiful. So now that you know how to properly take in and out your aligners, we wanna show you how to keep them clean at home. The easiest way to keep your aligners clean is by brushing with your toothbrush and toothpaste and rinsing them off with cool water. Most people will just brush their teeth. That little bit of leftover toothpaste that's on your toothbrush is all it takes. Scrub the inside and outside of your aligners to properly clean them every morning and every night. If you are having a hard time keeping your aligners clean by just brushing alone, Invisalign does provide cleaning crystals to soak your aligners in. These are used if you need a little extra cleaning that you're not able to accomplish with just a toothbrush and toothpaste alone. We recommend to not soak them in anything else or use anything hot against the aligners that could possibly cause them to warp or lose some of the elasticity required in order to move the teeth properly. Now that we've went over the basics of Invisalign, we hope these simple tips and tricks will help keep your Invisalign treatment as positive as possible. We're so excited to get things started for you and we hope you are too.